Hey everybody, uh, this is Saxton Moore, owner of Pixel Pirate Studio, and I want to thank everyone out there who has donated so far um, from the bottom of my heart. And honestly, I, um, I couldn't imagine getting such a swift response to the project being posted here on Kickstarter.com. Um, we're currently just past the 50% mark uh, toward our goal and 24 days left. And um, a few of you are close friends or, or family members, but uh, a lot of you are actually people who have just discovered my work. And, um, and I just want to share my s sincere gratitude uh, for your donations and believing in my first book project. Um, I also want to thank Kickstarter.com for allowing me to post my project here. Um, I'm, tr I'm truly amazed by this process altogether. And um, with that being said, I, I, um, I want to give you guys a special treat. Um, first off, I want to share with you some of my earlier development art, uh, you know, showcasing my main character and um, some of the development stuff from the book. So um, let me show you first. I got here a um, uh, really old sketchbook and. Uh, here you see Yin, who's the main character, um, and his yo-yo. Um, I actually came up with the idea of this character when I first moved out to Los Angeles to pursue my animation career. And uh, when I first got there, I um, went on Sunset Boulevard and uh, was walking down the street and almost got hit in the head with a yo-yo. Um, by this uh, little Asian kid who was standing outside of uh, Golden Apple Comics and he was uh, he was really going to town with it and and twirling his yo-yo around and he was like spinning all over the place and he whipped out two of them and, and it was really amazing and uh, immediately immediately I had to get uh not just a yo-yo from from the store but i had to get that that exact same yo-yo that that kid had and uh, it was pretty funny because when i walked in there the um they sold like tons of yo-yos and things like that and and the one that that kid had outside was like a 50 dollars yo-yo and um i was so inspired by what he was doing it kind of took me back to time when I was a kid and had a new toy but um I paid 50 bucks for the yo-yo and and uh, you know needless to say the kid really inspired me and I wanted to take that inspiration and uh, put it into the book and uh, kind of share that feeling with uh, uh, you know a bunch of other kids and maybe maybe they'll get inspired not only to read but maybe even pick up a hobby um, these these are uh, early sketches of uh, page layouts for the book and um, a lot of them are pretty rough but um, this is like uh, one of the images that's in the later part of the book of Yin kind of making amends with some of the characters that he encountered on the inside and um, here's one really early sketch of Yin and his yo-yo that's one of the first poses I drew um, I kind of didn't want him to have hair on his head to kind of make him seem a little bit rebellious and uh, I started taking it a step further and try to put him in some fun poses and things like that um, here's him uh, spinning two yo-yos at one time and uh, upon you know researching on uh, the yo-yos like an underground culture and like there's like kids all over the world that compete and practice and they do a, a lot of amazing things and uh, this here is a uh, yin with another yo-yo it's, it's uh, pretty fun to draw him uh, showcasing a lot of colors with the the yo-yo making vibrant colors and things like that now what I what I want to do now is um, I'm going to show you guys uh, a spread, an interior spread of the book, and uh, just a random page I'm going to pick through here and then 
That way you can get a sneak peek of the inside. I'm going to grab a random page here and then we'll talk about um, what's in it. Okay, this is pretty cool. Um, this spread here uh, is uh, Yin's yo-yo uh, going a little haywire. Takes a life of its own and um, goes out on an adventure and a search for the ultimate trick. Um, in this panel, in this page here, the yo-yo journeys into like a zoo and um, chip a crocodile's tooth. Um, some of the book, the book's kind of like in rhyme, so um, the previous page makes a little more set sense than, uh, than these two spreads. But um, over here, it says he nearly crippled three kids with kazoos. There's a little duck down here saying duck. <laughs> and um, the kids with kazoos kind of duck and watch out for the yo-yo. But um, yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of cool colors, vibrant colors going on in the book. Uh, a lot of fun spreads. You know, uh, I think kids will like it. I think artists would like, you know, the artwork in the book. And um, you know, that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoy the book when you get it. And let's see if we could uh, raise a little bit more money. For the book in the next coming weeks, I'm glad that we've raised as much as we've gotten so far and um, I hope to showcase a little bit more with you um, in the next week or so. So keep checking back and um, feel free to spread the word. Alright? Thanks again. Pixel Pirate!